right, good morning from Miami. So today we're speaking to Chop. Now he actually came in and he's already landed himself a role as a remote closer with a company. He came into a program, went through the sales training course. He's also in university and before DL, he found it quite tough to actually find a network and find people who are like-minded. And since DL, he basically has an entirely new friendship circle and uh, many of which that he's actually introduced to DL as well. So on that note, this is gonna be a fun interview and let's get into it. Job, how are you doing? Thanks very much for joining me today. I really appreciate you jumping on this call with me. How's it oh, going? Thank you, man. I'm great. I'm great. Having a great Easter so far. Just enjoying the day. Amazing. Amazing. Before I get into your journey specifically within Digital Launchpad, I just wanted to pick your brains a little bit about what you were doing before. Like, what did life look like? What were you doing yeah. in terms of work? What were you doing in terms of just life generally, your network, yeah. your friends, where you're based, your yeah. age, etc.? Yeah, so about me quickly, I'm based in the Netherlands. I'm in business school right now. I am working or was working a job as a chef in a restaurant, sushi restaurant. Nice. Yeah, I have great friends, great network now. In the past, I had a little bit of a shitty network, if you will, with people mm. who aren't really trying to make anything of their life, you know. Is this before a digital launchpad? Before, before, yeah. Okay. You know, people smoking, partying. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's mm. not my my way of rolling. So mm. I kind of be just one day I went like, no, I don't want this energy around me. And I kind of just went on my own path. Absolutely. And, and I find a lot of that with students that I speak to quite regularly that they get to a point in life where they've kind of made that decision that, like you said, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. It's for some people that makes them happy, etc. But there's, yeah. a, there's a small percentage of people that really are driven by more, driven by wanting to be successful, maximizing their potential and becoming more than just the average. And I think they always find themselves at this crossroads of what do I do now for my friends? What do I do for my network? Because yeah. I'm not finding any value with my, with my previous friends. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where communities like Digital Launchpad have really sort of helped people level up in terms of their network around them because having that constant mindset around you of people that is that people that are driven it can only lift you right it can only make you more yeah. inspired and more motivated so i completely actually understand that whole idea it's, you're at business school are you studying business yeah. at the moment yeah still in business marketing sales are all inclusive just base business to be fair since ever since i joined dl and went through the sales course i actually had a sales block at the same time at the time man i learned like nothing compared to what i learned in dl <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that's crazy, right? Like there's this education that you have to pay extortionate amounts for students getting themselves into debt. Now I'm not by yeah. any means saying traditional education is not yeah. right. It might be it might be good for some people, but I think when it comes to business, I'm not it's sure not. it's not. If you're doing medicine, dentistry, yeah. something you really want to yeah. study at university, that makes sense. Yeah, but in but in terms of sales, you you can't sort of merge sales with a little bit of finance, with a little bit of accounting. It's a standalone subject that needs yeah. support. You know, and it's also I, experience. I yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. And yeah. I don't know about you, but I kind of like me myself. I want to be taught sales off somebody who's Real a salesman, piece. not a professor in a university. It just. Yeah. Kind of like a bit, the whole notion's a bit odd to me, which is why yeah. one, of the, one of the whole ideas of Digital Launchpad was everybody Man. who is has to be a killer in what they do. Yeah. Like this is why yeah. you've got your Jordan Welch's, your Mike Thurston's, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. 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 Understanding now you write uni, you're looking to level up, Digital Launchpad happens. Tell me how exactly that happened and how you got involved in Digital Launchpad. Yeah, I woke up at a, like a Saturday morning, went through my email like normally. I saw this email from Iman, which basically said, you know, people are complaining it's too expensive, right? And I saw this new thing you guys were building, you know, mm. Digital Launchpad. As soon as I saw that mail, I was basically like, get me it <laughs> so i just immediately paid the thing subscribed and i was like home whole rest of the day was watching the course exploring everything it had to offer yeah yeah amazing i mean yeah that that is one of the one of the big things with digital launchpad is to actually make it affordable to everyone we don't really yeah. want to be you know the price point is such that anybody can actually buy this, do the courses and have access to like a whole sort of raft of education in so many different areas. We've got sales, copywriting, e-commerce, 
numerous more courses coming that I'm super, super excited about that I think you will actually find a lot of value in alongside the, the sales that you're learning currently. So you did yep. go into sales, right? You did the six figure sales rep course. So yep. tell me a little bit about your experience doing that. I think you told me you watched it three times, so you should know it very well by now. Yeah, so I I actually did the personality test as well. I'm quite an introverted person, right? Um, but I like to push myself out of my comfort zone. And because I knew sales is like everything, everything in life is sales. 100%. So I, I thought, hold up, just l let me do sales instead because I saw a lot of people actually doing copywriting as well. Mm. And I was kind of thinking already, maybe this it's not getting saturated, you know what I mean? But I think it's better to do sales. Um, because when you do sales, you can actually sell for agency owners and also people offering their copyright service. Yeah. Yeah, I basically went to, on and did that. And I was actually blown away by the amount of value you that the course was for just that amount of money, you know, mm. that the, the way it was recorded, all of the value he gives in, in such compact videos, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, first time I basically went on and really studied the thing and making notes for like every single second I passed and was like, okay, what what's happening here? How does this make sense? Okay, great, you know, just really studying it. Mm. And the other two times I was just watching through it again and just, you know, each week I want to remember as, as yeah. best as I can. So, yeah. Yeah, I believe you, you, you told me you've created some master Notion document, right? Yeah. Every, like, <laughs> yeah. We, we love a Notion document uh, in Educate. So, you know, uh, I can understand. Yeah, I can share it. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand what it would look like. <laughs> but yeah, that's amazing. So obviously it's quite clear to me that you, you went through this very diligently, very carefully yeah. and really tried to maximize everything out of it. Of course, in the last few weeks, we've also added coaching as well as I'm sure you're aware. Um, got a coaching specifically for sales, yep. one for copyright, one for e-commerce, etc. But tell me about how you found them coaching calls with AMI because obviously I've been on I've been on a few of them, and I find them to be super super valued. But I just wanted to hear it from a yep. student perspective how you found yep. them and how they've helped you alongside what you've learned. So yeah, the thing is, what Nehemiah does is he gets the students to speak in mm. themselves, and I feel like that's even better because then you speak with an expert and you actually talk to them you learn yeah. way more from them and what he does is actually five days a week um, basically takes parts of the whole sales process and really dives into them and each day where you yeah. can ask all of your questions make notes and the thing is he gets you to make the notes and they he gets people to actually put the notes in notion or a notion in discord where you mm. can see you, you miss none of the yeah, yeah, yeah. that's given, right? It's crazy. He's just he's a sales expert and he's giving you like tips first class, you know. Yeah, it, I, I've, <laughs> I've, I've jumped on a few of the calls where mock calls have been going on yeah. and it's absolutely fantastic. I've got people that I used to speak to who used to say to me, Ali, I don't quite feel confident. Ali, I'm not quite sure about my English. And I'm jumping on these coaching calls and that same person is on stage speaking to Nehemiah, doing an actual mock call with him. And I'm like, wow, like within two or three weeks, <laughs> your knowledge base, your confidence after coming into DL is at a point where you're on stage in front of a hundred people doing a mock call with a sales expert. And it's like, yeah. it's, it's absolutely unbelievable. So. Clearly, you've got a lot out of the education. Clearly, you've really getting value out of the um, yeah. coaching calls as well. Tell me a little bit about your experience coming into the network itself, because that's something we really pride ourselves on as well, like really putting together a group of fantastic people that we want to sort of develop and push on into the world and to maximize their potential. So tell me how you found that whole process. First of all, all Discord is organize in a way that you can actually find your people mm. because you have sales sections copywriting sections every section just also a lounge general chill yeah um so props to that um so that's a good way to network with uh, like okay i'm looking to talk to some copyrights let me go into the copyright chat yeah um and the thing was with dl you know that everyone who, who buys dl is some student who is this like-minded people they're yeah. all like-minded and that's a huge value because a group of like-minded people is 
really strong. Mm. So that gives me a lot of value, first of all. Second of all, there's people, you know, um, sharing their documents, sharing their thoughts, sharing when you have a question, there's thousands of people, you know, on ready it, answering it. Yeah, yeah, ready to answer. As well as the Discord mods, man, I love them. They are always in there. I just, yeah, you know, we've got to, we've, I yeah. think there's a real dynamic developing between the students and the team. I think, that we're, you know, sometimes you come into a community and you can get lost a little bit. But I yeah. think what really works with Digital Launchpad is the fact that we have this intimacy with the students as in we know each other, the relationships are developing. I know yeah. a lot of people already who are in yeah. the community. It was like, oh, okay, that's such a such a person. And I think that's yeah. very important in part in, in the community aspect of it, that you feel comfortable and at home. Um, everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome, 100%. And that's how it should be. And I think yeah. to touch on your point, I've seen so many times that somebody will ask a question a sales question in the community and it will spark a tremendous debate between everyone and somebody's like no it should be like this and no it should be like that and then eventually you've got so many ideas flowing and you come to a conclusion that works and i think to see that process i'm sometimes just in the background watching thinking this is going to be fun <laughs> this is going to be fun yeah. so yeah it's it's really good so have you yeah. have you built a network now of of some people or some friends yeah. or people yeah tell me a little bit about that so basically i've built a network by just talking to people it's very easy people are always saying like how to network and the thing is with me i just i like to talk to people and hear, hear about their stories so first of all i went in and just talked to people and after a while you 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 dm them privately and you just start a conversation yeah and you're you're going to be amazed at how many people know people and how small the world is yeah 100 percent. so so yeah I just went in and, and talked to a whole bunch of people and I get in contact with more people and then you just have relationships with people. Yeah, it's just, that domino, yeah. it's just that domino effect once yeah. you get Yeah, yeah I have some, some, some guys I just talk to on a regular like, hey, how are you doing? Did you pursue your goals today? How did it went? You know, just are you ready for a more call? Yeah. You know, it's, well, it's really easy. Interestingly, this is at the outset of this call when we were talking about your friends and stuff. That's exactly what you were alluding to, right? That yeah. your friends don't hold you to that accountability standard. They don't push mm -hmm. you. They don't ask you if you're sort of pursuing your goals. 100%. I think this is what you were looking for. And I'm absolutely delighted that you found it within Digital Launch, but to be honest. Um, yeah. Another interesting thing, it's a bit of exclusive for you, if you like, on this call, but we are putting together now as well a system. I'm, we're a big believers in students meeting up, students networking yeah. in person. The in-person effect, you, you cannot put a price on it. It creates yeah. bonds for life when you meet. You're all, you're all going towards a particular purpose. And I think when you meet and it's purpose-driven, you're all trying to get somewhere. Then bonds are very, very strong. And I think when you meet in person, it's a different vibe. So we are looking to actively in the next few weeks put together a system within the community where we facilitate people like for example you're in the netherlands meet up you'll be able to connect with yeah. people in the netherlands like who's in the netherlands maybe you guys go for coffee maybe you have a, a workout maybe you do a deep work block together we're trying to really build that to really solidify the relationships so i'm super super excited about that as well to be honest um yeah me too yeah so tell me how have you benefited in terms of your work like my understanding is now that you're you've done the sales course you're feeling good you're feeling confident you've done some coaching this is yeah. where you're you've settled now that okay this is for me i'm sales is my way forward is my way out okay mm -hmm. so have you found any opportunities to actually execute on what you've learned within the community any any roles any offers or anything that you've done yeah so within the community i basically like like we talked about we networked that, that got me to a guy who said i know a guy he's looking for sales reps right yeah also opportunities tab that's gold yeah, 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 <laughs> people yeah. are looking every minute they're saying i need this and this and this you do when you just talk to people and don't go hey i want i want this job yeah you're yeah, gonna yeah. get it that way yeah just talk to people be nice okay i'm here if you need help bring value they'll think about you and they came to me and about be like i heard your sales rep are you looking for you know and then you just do a few interviews with people for their agency or company and basically that's how i got um two of the the offers that i'm on right now also i'm looking into being an sdr for another company but i'm not sure yet 
because you know I can do five things at once is really yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty it's so, to, so, to come so all of this has come through Digital Launchpad and within Digital Launchpad so definitely the full spectrum of your education your coaching your networking to the point now where you've got potentially three job offers as a closer through DL right I mean that blows my mind to think that, that, all, <laughs> that it's all happened within like two like I two say, or three I say, months I say it blows my mind we've been very intentional in setting up digital launchpad to do that but to think that we're sort of a few weeks into launch and I'm speaking to somebody who's already been through and executed that whole cycle of education to job offer blows my mind and to be honest speaking to you as well i can see that you, you've got that something about you you're you're very intentional and very driven i can just tell bro you're 18 right yeah it's crazy crazy honestly <laughs> respect to you to be so you know clear about what you want and not just clear about it a lot of people are clear about what they want but they don't put the steps in you're obviously yeah. very you know action driven and it a great role model yeah. for the for the students. Yeah. So okay, so you've got these two or three job offers, remote sales, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, I believe you're looking to potentially, because of the nature of the sales job, because it's remote, I believe you're looking to follow one of your dreams and move to Thailand as well at some point. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. Yeah. So this um full story and as well, I can go back to the the, the past thing you said about pursuing your goals mm. for the people that may be watching this. But basically, I struggled with that as well. What I did was I just went on. I think everyone has this place where they go and they think, right? So for me, it's at the, I live near the sea. Yeah. I like to be there. And I just went there and wrote down everything I really want. Mm. And the thing is, when you write that down, when you have such a passion and thing you want, then you have to execute. 100%. And so I went on and was like, okay, what are things 80-20 rule? or the things I can extract from my life, like friends and other mm. things. And I basically made a list of things I can do, how I'm going to do it, break that up in little nips. Mm. And I just started executing, being consistent. And when you do that and when, and go into flow states, you're, you're blown away by what you can achieve. Oh no, absolutely, absolutely. And also with discipline, discipline is quite easy. If you put it towards things that you deeply down no matter, if you go and be disciplined about something that you really don't want in the end, you're going to screw up your discipline. One of the things I have always wanted is travel the world. Yeah. And I always knew I wanted the business or some sort of remote thing like sales. I like Asia. I have worked for like three years in an Asian restaurant as well. I speak a lot of Chinese. It's very yeah. funny. And Thailand is just a beautiful country. And I went on and thought, okay, I want to do all of these things, mm. um, which is too long to list. but. I can watch the best place that's going to set me up for the things I want. And I thought, okay, it's going to be Thailand. Yeah. So in the next, I think five months or so, I'm when I finish the first year of, of study, you get sort of some so, some sort of certificate which, which helps you get it back to, into it if you need it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good to have like a, some sort of, you know, fall back to. Job, what you're telling me is you're going all in on sales basically. Right, yeah. you're going to Thailand. You're going all in on sales, which that's the plan, <laughs> bro. Respect, man, because like again, you've come into deal, you've done some sales, you've done some coaching, you've got a job, two or three job offers. You're following your dreams. You're gonna go to Thailand. You built a network, absolutely yeah. unbelievable. And and that one thing I just want to touch on that you just said about the fact that you wrote down where you want to be, and then you thought about the little small steps that it takes to get there. I often and tell students about this really focus on the process you know the the goal yeah. is simply for you to understand where you want to go it doesn't tell you how to get there how mm -hmm. to get there is what we tell you they did just a launch pad first and foremost but secondly it's almost you've got to put them steps in place if you really enjoy the process you'll get to your goal but if you fixate too much yeah. on the goal 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 yeah get lost so you're gonna you're going to stop because you have absolutely. to celebrate the little wins you know 100%. be happy for okay today i did this and this and this. i can't just be happy when i 
also i basically just blocked out the whole day you know like yeah, yeah, you yeah. can be like oh that's childish but literally to the minute i'm going to do this 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 and when you finish that and you had a productive day you're you're going to be happy yeah the sense of achievement. enjoy the process yeah. yeah the sense of achievement as well it's like the, you know these small steps that we take on a daily basis towards a bigger picture they compound yeah. they compound over a week two weeks three weeks four weeks financial and it and yeah and i think it's really important because there's a lot of stuff out there at the moment in the online space everybody's trying to show that you know it all happened overnight you know blah 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 it's, it's not fake like that. there's no such thing you know, as fast one else completely the journey is a lot shorter than it was during my time because of yeah. you know places like digital launchpad in particular where we actually teach you very intentionally all the skills you need to get to that point quicker it's still a process that you've got to really yeah. enjoy and what is there not to enjoy like you've yeah it's you've, crazy if you look back yeah to where i started sometimes you guys have, you have you have to look back i think oh i was two or three months ago i was here and be proud sometimes of yourself as well because i know people like-minded people i feel like um like me they always want to be okay more forward 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 yeah. but sometimes you just have to look back what i what have i achieved and you're going to be amazed at the little wins you you've did and where you've come in just a certain yeah. period of time and then you really enjoy the process like you said as well mm. because after the, i i don't feel like it's been three four months since i've joined in where i am right now because i enjoy, I enjoy the process yeah i often tell people as well this is Honestly, it's like a super skill to be able to reflect a little bit because I think yeah. we get so carried away. I mean, just to, just to pause for a minute and think, wow, look how far I've come in two, three months. It yeah. gives you such a sense of gratitude and feeling to be like, right, okay, I set out to do this. I've done yeah. it. And now I'm going to crack onto the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. Anything else? Like what are the plans in terms of DL? Are you going to potentially look to do other courses or are you going to look to do anything to, to, yeah. to supplement your skill set? um yeah so eventually i think of doing those meetups like you said and um i think iman also said sometimes i'm, I'm going to go to europe i couldn't make it to cape town unfortunately mm. i'll be there 100 percent um and yeah basically looking to keep on helping other people keep on growing my network um and eventually also trying <laughs> you know when something else comes on my path like another business i have the stuff that i need I can go it's, do agency copywriting. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Shipping. It's interesting because one of the things that we pride ourselves on, and one of the things that we're focused on, is getting the students to make their first thousand dollars online. Okay, when you hear about digital launchpad, it's help students make their first thousand dollars online. But, but I actually think we sell ourselves short a little bit with that description because if you think about it, yes, we help students get to that thousand dollar stage. But also we're doing lifestyle coach coaching. You've got Mike Thurston coaching about Oh, great digital course. Digital yeah. done, yeah. Social media, dating, all them kind of things are taught. Yeah. We've got courses coming from Iman's Taylor. So a little bit about fashion. We've got some fitness coaches, some boxing courses come. There is so much in the pipeline in the next few months that we're not just really helping you get to a thousand dollars, which is the first target. Don't get me wrong, because that's what we want to do. Yeah, we're helping you become yeah. successful, bitter, all rounded, all rounded. If you want a judo course in the future, hit me up. <laughs> I do for sure, bro. For sure, we're right, bro. We're always open. And what what better yeah. to take one of our one of our students and go through the full arc of them actually becoming a student to becoming actually an educator? That would be amazing. But. Job, listen, yeah. mate. I, I think I could probably end up talking to you and going back and forth all day. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. Just honestly, you're an absolutely shining example. And I think I'm going to go back in the community okay. and make sure people reach out to you because you followed it to an absolute T the way you've come in. You've come in, you thought, right, you're at business school, bro. Like you've been taught sales and all that kind of stuff. Bro, I actually had this. I have a uh, so I have a classmate that also I I told him, bro, join this thing. It's going to change yeah. your life. <laughs> and he you did know. that. And the first day he did a call with me and Maya. He went to school the other day, and he and this guy like he calls it yap sessions. You know, the, the teachers yeah, yeah. yapping. He's he started. He's like, okay, can I ask a question? What do you know about it? <laughs> what have you achieved? He, 
like damn, bro. He has the, he has the, he has the, uh, oh, the lecturer. Right. He has the professor at university. Oh, bro. Yeah. bro. Oh, it's still That's there. Sure. But it's, it, it, there's, 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 there's validity in that question. It's yeah. a sensible question to ask. Like in any other industry, you're yeah. gonna ask the person what your credentials are. Like, why should I listen to you? What is it yeah. that you have done for me to think that you're valid at teaching me this? Because we're committing our time to this and it, you need to make sure you're learning from the right person. And I think that's something that we're always going to be very big on to make sure we bring people in that are yeah. top quality. If you still want to be open-minded, I'm, I'm always saying that the people still want to be open-minded. You can learn something from, from everyone. Absolutely. Doesn't matter they are. Absolutely. But in terms of yourself, honestly, super proud, super happy. People like you make it worthwhile. You've come in. Oh, thank you so much. Not only have you made yourself an amazing network, not only have you picked up an amazing skill, not only have you actually managed to find three job opportunities and will probably move to Thailand in five five months and actually become a remote closer. And to be honest, I think the world is your oyster. Your, your mentality, your attitude is absolutely top notch. And I wish you all the very best. And I think what we'll do is maybe in four or five months or maybe six months when you're settled in, in uh, Thailand, we'll do another one of these and, and see how you're getting going and you. track your progress. But job, yeah. absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your Easter weekend with your family. And um, yeah, we'll speak in the community soon. Take 100%. Care. Thank you, my brother. Thank you.